What's up, guys? <laughs> JFM here. Welcome back to another episode of uh, of the Survival Let's Play. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day today. It is episode 114, which um, I'm very excited about because boy, oh boy, do I have some plans. The first plan is to add Silk Touch to these shears, and you guys will see why in just a minute, but there we go, a silk touch on some shears, that's what I like to see. Uh, so that's that, and you guys will know in just a second why I'm doing that, but before I get ahead of myself, we must visit the Soba Scrabber Palace. And here we have it, the names for today. Hollywood 974, MC Lester Rays, Peashooter 009, and Philip Glazer. Thank you all so, so, so much for your comments. Also, guys, thank you for the uh, insane support on the last episode. You guys gave me a ton of awesome ideas, and, uh, and it was very, very cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'm hoping today... Maybe, just maybe, we can hit 10,000 likes on the video. Mr. Cow, what do you think? You think we've delayed enough? Yeah, yeah, I, I think we definitely have. <laughs> Let's show uh, this all new uh, build right here. This is what we did last episode, except now, well, I've added a little bit more to it. I've added some bushes, I've added uh, some plants with some podzol pots, and uh, and I just think it looks really nice. I think it looks really nice over here. I also extended the trail, and I added this big old swampy looking tree as well. So it's got that uh, that abandoned feel for sure. So I'm wondering to myself, is it going to update on the map? Oh! We can see part of it, and then we gotta break this, and we can see the rest. There we go, look at that! Not too bad at all. So yeah, and I wanna also show you guys the interior, because I have changed a little bit. So if we walk down this pathway, enter into the abandoned hut, you can see we've got uh, the ladder that goes down all the way to the floor, which I'll show you guys in a second. And we've also got the endless pit that falls down into water now. So I've got some stuff to show you guys. Uh, quickly, let me jump down here and show you what's going on. So we've got some lighting in here with uh, glowstone behind some glass and down at the bottom of this chute we've got this this is the area where the zombies will fall uh, zombie villagers that is and this is where I will cure them I'm not too sure exactly what I'm gonna do just yet so uh, with this whole room yeah I, I don't know I don't know but for now I like the way this is so I'm gonna go back up here and I do have some stuff to talk about this uh, this little guardrail here this goes down into a basement area which does have a really good purpose and I'll explain that in a minute and I also thought it would be good to add this painting right here kind of creepy kind of adds to the mood so uh, yeah that's that now um, the reason I made these silk touch shears well I'm going to use them to gather myself some cobwebs and I know exactly where I need to go thanks to uh, thanks to you guys so as you guys saw on the comment of the day, we had a guy, Hollywood974, point out the location of a mine shaft. And it was one, two, it was 16 blocks away, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So right here on the sapling. Uh, okay, so this is where I must dig down, and apparently there's going to be a mine shaft. Now, I do want to say that usually I would not just uh, go ahead and g get things spoiled by subscribers. I think that that ruins uh, the adventurous aspect of the uh, survival let's play. However, I've already been in this area, so these mine shafts were generated in like uh, 0.9.0, so they have no rewards. There's not going to be any chests in this mine shaft. It is just going to be a plain mine shaft. If it is here at all, he may have been trolling me. If he was trolling me, bravo, because you're getting this on video. <laughs> hey, he wasn't trolling me. There's actually a mine shaft. How cool is that? <laughs> right next door. So we've got this, and like I said, there are going to be no rewards for this. It's only I don't even think there are cave spider spawners. It's just wood down here. So there's really no there's really no advantage to me finding this, except I can finally gather some cobwebs. 
So yeah, if you guys would like, we could explore this at a later date, but it's it's not gonna be that exciting because like I said, this was generated before they added spawners in here. Uh, it was generated before pretty much every everything, <laughs> everything cool. All the chests, all the uh, minecart chests, everything. It's not gonna be in here, which is kinda lame, but these cobwebs is all I'm coming for. Mission complete. I've got what I've came for. Just a few, just a few cobwebs because, um, I'm just gonna be using them to decorate the abandoned house, make it look even more abandoned. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I needed that for. So let's see, let's see, where do we wanna put the- maybe we got one right, uh, right here? Yeah, right next to the door, okay. Oh, also, I added a potted plant up there. I think it looks good. Uh, I didn't add any others on any side, so it's not symmetrical, but I think it's good. Maybe we can add one right there. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't want to go too much because they are really bright. Like, they are really, really bright, so I don't want to do too, too much. I think uh, this may be good, so let's put maybe one more right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and now we can do a few on the inside, and maybe only one, I don't know. So, uh, in the top corner here, no, there are windows right there, we'll put one right there, maybe? Above the door, no, it doesn't make sense, let's, uh, I don't know, actually. So, as you all know, we've got the floor trap in here, and I also wanted to make the actual entrance a secret as well. So I want to go down here, and I want to add a hidden piston door sort of thingy. I've already carved out enough space, so hopefully we can get this thing done. So the whole idea is to have this block roll. Well, well, right where I put that piston. That needs to be a regular block, and then it needs to pu be pulled down, and then pulled to the side so I can get down this little chute. So, the plan, well, the plan is to add two pistons, uh, wait a second, yeah, 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 two pistons, wait a, wait a, wait, yeah, two, two right there maybe? And then maybe one like that? Because what's gonna happen is when these pistons push out, this one is going to become, uh, well, it's gonna go right here over this ladder, and then when this pushes up, the block should be right there. Yeah, okay, that'll work. That'll work. Now, the redstone, that is the hard part. So I'm gonna get the repeaters and the redstone dust, and let's see. So, I guess I'll just test it along this. Oh, I don't want that to be on. How do I get back up there? There we are. So I can test it over here. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. We'll get this down, and then I think right here is where I'll need to separate it. So that is gonna go that way, this is gonna go this way. Then we bring this over here, put a block right there, there and that should power each uh, each one of the wait no I need to bring it right there yes now let's give this a test shall we do I have a lever or something let's see what happens when I power that okay that go yes that works they both get powered and now this right here you need a redstone dust in front and then that one should be back yes there we go now the problem is when I break them or when I break the power it's not yet yeah. okay so I need to delay it this one it needs to be delayed, I think. Let's see if that works. Oh, I need to get those torches out once again. There we go. So that, okay, that works. Going out works. Then going back works. <laughs> yes. So basically, this one, because it's not delayed, retracts first and then the block. Oh, let's see if it works with a block now. Let's see if it works with a block. Yes, it gets pushed up into the floor. Will it get removed? It does, it does, it does, fantastic. So now what I can do is I can fill in these little areas. Oh. Well, if I put, I think it'll still work if I put that block there. Yeah, because it'll power the block. Okay, that works. Yeah, that works, that works good. So if all of that happens, I climb up the ladder and I can't actually make the ladder all the way up because this piston's gonna be here and it's gonna mess up the ladder. So I've got this section right here that leads out to this room, but I need it to be hidden. So what's going to go down is I need two, I need two planks. Uh, let me just borrow these ones. <laughs> I'll grab, I'll put some planks back later. So there will be planks right here as a door. But it's not going to be accessible from this side. It'll only be accessible from this side right here. So I need a pressure plate. And I can use that wood right there. There we go. So we've got ourselves a pressure plate. Now the pressure plate will put power onto this dust. So I want to bring this dust over like this. 
and then I need to power two pistons. So there are the pistons, and then what I do is I add the wood right uh, there. I'll have to come back up. So the wood will be on those two blocks. Now I need the pistons to always be on. So the easiest way to do that, I believe, is to put this block right here, add a redstone torch, and then what I can do is add a block on top just like that. Oh, I don't want to use the good wood. I need the jungle wood for the build. So I'll just use this wood. So I'll put that right there. There we go. There we go. And then if I bring that over, yes, that should be power. Wait a second. Let's get rid of that block. There we go. Fix that. There we are. Yes, they extended. Perfecto. So these uh, pistons should be, yes, they should be extended when I'm not on the pressure plate. So now, if I add these jungle blocks, that's what's going to happen. The door shuts, and then I can exit just like so. I can, I like, oh man, I love it. So when I need, oh yes, and then I can't get back in. So the only way to get through that entrance is to come back up, walk over, and walk through the door. I love it. So I think I've done it. Now take a look at what I have here. So if we hit this switch, this opens, but also this opens as well. There we go, look at that. So we've got it all chained onto one single lever, which is nice. Now there is one issue. I didn't notice this. Uh, so I do have to figure out what to do here because I cannot see that piston arm. That is a pet peeve. I will figure that out later, but for now, we've got a good bit of redstone done. So this opens up, just like so, and this opens up as well. And then if I come down here and I want to leave, just walk over, oh boy, that is awesome. Now, I do need to clog this back up. I can do that like that. Also, not sure why, but grass is growing down here, and I don't appreciate it at all. So I would say that's some good redstone work right there, if you do say so my- if I do say so myself. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we got that done. Now if I walk on over here, I'd like to talk quickly about the castle and a few things. I've got some updates and I've also got some things I can ask y'all about. So I've seen a whole bunch of people ask about using buttons or tell me to use buttons and I decided that they would go right there. So let me know if you guys like that little button design right there. Uh, it's not too much, but I think it does add a little bit of detail and it looks like they could be maybe supports or uh, I don't know, something like that, so that looks pretty cool. As far as updates on the castle wall goes, I've gone a little bit farther. I really thought I was gonna have more to show you guys, but this is taking a long, long, long time. So, I've started this uh, little castle over there, this little wall over there. I've started to replicate it right there, still working on it. I may change it up, I may make it uh, uh, the identical tower, I'm not too sure, but um... Yeah, so I've started that. I've also gone around the wall. Now, this looks somewhat finished. It's not randomized, though. I still need to add cracked stone and stairs. Uh, I, I do have the, the, the mossy stone brick. On the other side, I do believe I've gotten around to randomizing it all, I think. No, I haven't. Ah, yes I have. Okay, I finished on the outside of this wall here. So we've got all the different types of brick. We've got the cracked, the mossy, and the stair as well. So that looks good. Uh, I don't have the buttons though, so I will add those later. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a work in progress, man. This thing has taken a while. So uh, by the next episode, I think I should probably have uh, this. I think I may round off this corner and not put a, uh, not put a pillar. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I should have the wall all done and then maybe we can start to think about building the keep or we could start building uh, the buildings that are inside of the wall so that should be pretty fun um, and now one of the things that I do want to talk about very quickly is somebody suggested I added uh, I, I should add statues on either side of of the bridge and I think that is a brilliant idea so maybe have one like right here and one right here I don't know, I think that would be awesome. And also, another person mentioned that they miss the, uh, they miss the to-do list. They miss, if you guys remember, I used to have a scroll with the things of, uh, the list of things I would do in the episode. And I just decided to take it out because I, I could just say it instead of have it. But, if you guys would like to see that back, let me know. And, and I could definitely try to bring that back for you guys. 
But um, yeah, I think that is just about it for today. A very short episode, uh, comparatively, but really this is how short most of them are intended to be. Usually I just spend a lot longer than I, uh, than I envision. But uh, yeah, so shorter episode, a little bit of redstone today. Also we went to the mine shaft, and uh, we enchanted a little bit. So we did get a good, a good bit of work done, honestly. I I'm very pleased. I am very, very, very pleased. So in the next episode, hopefully we'll have some more updates on the laboratory in the castle and maybe we'll start a new project anyways guys i think that just about does it thank you all so much for watching and as always stay frosty my friends peace guys see ya bye bye